Hi friends, thanks for stopping by today. I have for you today a remake of a McCall's pattern. It is McCall's pattern number 1935. It is a little girl's pinafore dress. It is supposed to have um, a petticoat crinoline underneath of it, but I did not go that far. Uh, I think that the dress, it's, I think it sticks out pretty good. I mean, it is at all. I don't think I had to do every little bit of the pattern, but I took all the pieces and resized them so that they would be in the, you know, size of the American Girl doll or the 18-inch doll. And... Now, the, the pattern actually shows that it's supposed to have a collar, but I didn't go that far. Um, this is actually the third dress I've made with this pattern. Um, it's not really difficult to follow, but I just... I'm not really good at writing instructions for my patterns, so... I really can't share the pattern unless you're someone who is pretty experienced. Not that I'm experienced, but, well, I know what the pieces are, and I know where they go. And someone who doesn't really know patterns, I don't know if they know how to put it all together without instructions. Um, so I have to think about being able to share the pattern because, again, I have no way of, you know, telling you what to do. I could do a video, but right now all I have is my phone and it took me forever to get it just set up so I could have the dress this way. But let's get past that. Let me show you the dress. The dress is made with a polar bear pattern. I got the pad the material from Etsy. The polka dot pattern is a fat quarter from Walmart. The back of the pattern, you see that I put some cam sta uh, snaps on that. I really like those snaps. And then for the tie, instead of, I didn't bother to make a pattern for the tie. I just used a Rogaine ribbon that was about, uh, about an inch, an inch and a half wide, about an inch wide. That really matched it. Uh, I want to maybe I'll make a collar eventually, but not for this dress. I might make it if I make a, like a material that's more of a solid to then make the collar uh, be the the main eye piece, if you will. But I think she turned out really good. I think it's a perfect dress for Mary Allen. She is from the 1950s. So, and I really, I just... I like that type of little girl dress. I like the, you know, little girl dresses that are, you know, kind of frilly and, you know, 60s, 50s, 40s, 20s, 30s, all those. Just where the little girls were little girls. And they didn't try to be older than they were. Uh, I like the 10, 11 age group. I think that's a perfect size or perfect age for the style. And I have another pattern, another 1950s pattern I'm working on. That will be for the end of maybe of next month, beginning of March. I just, I just feel really good and I'm trying to just get done as much as I can to make up for not being here last year. I apologize for my voice. I don't talk that much. So, and I have redone this video at least six times. So my voice is going. So I hope you like the dress. Thank you for staying with me and for coming back to see what I make. And I hope you all have a great day. Bye, y'all.